Welcome back. I am here with Kentucky and his uh, real dog whisperer. That is Matthew Duffy. Lives in southern Indiana. Is your, is your uh, business located in southern Indiana as yeah. well? I did notice that. Yes, it is. Jeffersonville Industrial But Park. you handle Louisville folks as well. Oh, that's the majority of our clientele. Yes. All right. I love hearing that. Okay. Your, your calls are welcome. 571-5263. We have Frida on the line. Frida, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, Frida. Do you have a question? Yeah. I've got a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix. He's about three... And ever since I've had him, he's real timid, uh, not a, not outside or anything. But when I go to go to work, he'll put his ears back and he shakes uh, like he's scared to death. And I just wonder if anything like the stress tabs like you can get at Walmart would help him. Okay. Now, the, the way I understand it, see, when you're getting ready to go to work, he begins to tremble? Well, that and if anybody that he doesn't know comes up and go, goes to rub him, and even sometimes when I do, he'll put his head down right. like he's scared. Okay, and it, it may be his sensitivity to touch in itself. Now, when you go to work, do you put him anywhere? Do you put him in his crate? Do you put him in a room? No. Okay, so he's just loose in the house? Right. Do you want to reach down and pet him and hug him before you leave? Yes, I do. And that's probably part and parcel to the trimming when you leave the sensitivity to touch when somebody else comes over here's what i would do uh, again he, his personality determines this you say i would love to hug him before i leave but he dislikes the hugging the hugging turns him off then why don't you have a different way to say goodbye a little treat uh, just uh, some sweet talk maybe a little new toy for him to chew on and try to avoid too much physical contact because that's what it sounds like to me in the past he has had some heavy contact heavy-handed handling and it's still hard for him to get over even with somebody he loves just like you so give him a chance to establish a new routine when you leave that will be centered around food chatter little play and then exit and see if he can't overcome some of this with time okay. I'm heading for th all right uh, I think we have Dora with us Dora welcome to the show go ahead hi Doris uh, yes um, am I on yes you are go ahead okay um, I have a Labrador, and when we go walk, and she does her business on the street. Oh, okay. And I assume you say I'd rather she did not, correct? Right, right. right. Yeah, Me and, too. and lots of times I wait till I see she does her business before we go for a walk. Right, and I'm the same way. When I go for a walk with my dog, I want to be exercise, I want to be fun, I don't want to be a bathroom run. And right. uh, this is all about routine. So when I take my dog out, for a walk. The first thing I do is go to his bathroom area and I don't stimulate in this bathroom area. I hang out quietly in the bathroom area and let him think about one thing, smelling the ground and relieving himself. Now, once I commit to walk, I'm only going to be out save for half an hour. He does not have to relieve himself in that 30 minute period. He prefers to because it is a form of marking territory, even with females, even with defecation. Dogs want to leave their mark. So I'm showing my dog on this walk there is no time to do that. We're going for a walk, and he says, I need to stop and sniff here. No, we're, we're walking. I'm going to keep him moving, keep him focused on that loose leash. And when I return from the walk, back to the bathroom area, show him before and after. We have a chance to go to the bathroom, not during. All right. Good answer there. All right, Mr. Duffy, we're going to put you to work once again. You have a little demonstration for yep. us? All Same right. little black lab. We're going to bring okay. him out work on a little bit of food control. So, Mr. Benson, if you'll bring out some of those delicious cookies mm -hmm. that you just showcased here mm -hmm. we have about a minute so we're going right. to make good. you work fast we can do it. you can do it i think you this can can too right on out here good thank you very much good deal and i'll take a little buddy now he wants the cookies mm -hmm. thank you and uh, i'm going to show him that those are off limits he said but they're right here in front of me what am i supposed to do go to your zen place leave the cookies alone because the cookies like the pizza on the coffee table they're not going anywhere this is part of life we are going to eat and visit and have our cat come into the living room often. Get used to the temptation. He said, I think I'll just hang back here, man. You give me a treat if you want. But he said, I will not take part of your treat. And that is the important wow. thing to keep in mind. That's Those amazing. are Look, off limits. Yeah. Look and, at that. And he said, I would love one, but he said, it's not for me. And this is his first training session. His very in, first training. Yes, mind. very yes. first. And I know sometimes it's hard to believe, but if we have a chance to come back, we'll show you. We'll have dogs brought on by their owners, and we'll do this very thing. It'll take this long.
Wow, interesting. All right, once Very again, nice. White Fang Ventures is the website. If you have any questions, they have a book, they have DVDs. All of it can be found on their website. We encourage you to do that. Matthew Duffy, you are truly an expert. Well, thank you. I'm, again, I'm just old, had a lot of dogs in my hands. That's it. <laughs> we'll be right back on Wave 3 Listens.